Another big story now. A South Suburban family learns autopsy photos of their mother are missing. The camera used to take the pictures was stolen from the lab at Loyola, Loyola University Medical Center. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is asking how and why the hospital failed them. Deborah Clark spent her last hours here at Loyola University Medical Center. Her family thought that an autopsy would help clear up some of their questions about her care, but instead it left them sickened. I was by her side. I held her hand and they told me it was diabetes. One moment, Tanya Washington's mom felt sick. The next thing she knew, she was being airlifted from Advocate South Suburban Hospital to Loyola University Medical Center. It was June of 2018, and Washington said doctors couldn't explain what was wrong with her generally healthy 68-year-old mother, Deborah Clark. They caught the cold, and we knew that she was gone, and we didn't understand why. She went out of her way to request an autopsy, and when her attorney recently reached out to get the records, Washington received this letter in the mail from Loyola Medicine. I was not prepared for what I was about to open up. That letter just brought back the same pain of June 9th of last year when she passed. The letter said photos from Clark's autopsy were on a camera that had been stolen from Loyola's pathology lab in July. The hospital said they believed the camera, not the photos, were the target, but they'd had no luck locating it. That was my first question. Why did you wait two months to send me this letter? The family's other big question, why were photos from an autopsy completed more than a year ago still on the memory card? I deserve to know. My family deserve to know. So far, Loyola University Medical Center hasn't answered either of those questions, although a spokesperson explained that they've changed their security protocols as a result of this incident. Now they're deleting images from the cameras as soon as they're uploaded and adding security to the pathology lab. The hospital said the Office for Civil Rights for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services was notified about the incident, but hasn't told us when. To know that someone has this card and these photos can be, be made public. Today, the Illinois Department of Public Health confirmed to me that they are also investigating this incident. The Illinois Attorney General's office has been made aware of the complaint as well. In Maywood, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.